Hello dear students, here I am Dr. Ramjad Ali. Uh, in this video we are going to learn the properties of uh, correlation. Uh, moreover, this video also covers the theoretical and empirical uh, session of the properties of the correlation. So let's start our discussion with uh, correlation and causation. So here we have made the distinction between the correlation and causation. So keep it in mind that correlation uh, uh, between the two variables does not imply that there is any cause and effect relationship between the variables. So uh, cause and effect is a different type of relationship and which is uh, <coughs> which which we cover causation which we cover in a, in a different in another video. So uh, uh, simply here we can see that correlation does not uh, shows that there is a cause and effect relationship between the two variables. Okay, like we have a, a, a best example here that mm, we found that uh, uh, with rising sales of banana, that rate of a city will increase. So, if if we find the correlation between the uh, sales of banana and that rate of a big city, then uh, this will produce a positive relationship. Uh, but uh, but uh, th this is a very uh, very well familiar fact that uh, fruits uh, in, uh, increases the health status of the of uh, the masses not decreases the health status of the masses so uh, <coughs> so, uh, so so higher that rate may be uh, may be due to some un, uh, other unknown variables which are not uh, 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 taken as a as a um, variable in the model so uh, the larger if we have the larger uh, city uh, if the population of the city is higher then uh, definitely the consumption of banana, banana is higher and if the, if the city has a larger population then definitely uh, uh, definitely some particular disease because of some particular disease that rate is also uh, rises so uh, uh, we found a correlation uh, but uh, this uh, uh, correlation is uh, is normally called the false correlation and nonsense or spurious correlation and uh, <coughs> for uh, because there is no uh, logical or theoretical background for this okay uh, we therefore should be very careful in the interpretation or interpreting the correlation coefficient as a measure of relationship or interdependency interdependence uh, uh, between the two variables uh, so correlation explains the degree of relationship between the two variables x and y. The correlation is not concerned with the uh, with the theoretical or logical relationship. The correlation only provides the degree of of relationship between the two variables. But causation, on the other hand, explains the direction of the relationship between the two variables. Uh, either sometimes we use y as a dependent variable, but we found uh, but uh, but using the causation methodology, we found that uh, y. Uh, either it is a dependent variable in the model but uh, it is causing the independent variable uh, so <coughs> causation uh, may be uh, uh, maybe bidirectional maybe direction maybe unidirectional maybe no causation but in case of correlation this is not happening because correlation explain only positive and negative degree of association between the uh, variable so uh, if and uh, if another in uh, another regression model you are using access is dependent variable but uh, tech but technically and uh, uh, and uh, causation or causality point of view uh, y is uh, x is explaining uh, uh, your dependent variable so uh, for the cause and effect you have to use the causation or causality in methodologies Okay, here are uh, some properties of the correlation. There are four main properties is of the correlation. So first one is uh, the correlation coefficient R is a symmetrical with the uh, with, with respect to the variables x and y. So there is no concept of independent and dependent variable. You are using either you are using x uh, R x y or R y x. But if you are uh, finding the regression relationship between the, between the variables, if you are using uh, the first, uh, uh, when you are writing the first uh, uh, variable, so this means that this is dependent variable and this is independent variable. But in case of uh, correlation, there is no distinction uh, between the independent and dependent variable. 
okay the correlation coefficient uh, lies between minus 1 and plus 1 so keep it in mind that at uh, the value uh, estimated value of the correlation always lies uh, between minus 1 and plus 1 third one is the correlation coefficient is independent of the origin and scale so keep in mind there is no concept of of origin and scale is available uh, for the correlation coefficient so fourth in case of bivariate population where x and y are random variable r is the geometric mean between the two regression coefficient r is the geometric mean between the two regression coefficient so see here we have two uh, first two properties that are, are, are uh, easily can uh, one can understand but third and fourth property need some more justification so for the explanation of third and fourth let's discuss the third property the correlation coefficient is, is independent of the origin okay let we have our two variable u and v and uh, uh, by the two new variables we have u is equal to x minus a divided by n and v is equal to uh, y minus b divided by k and from u we get the value of x so x is equal to a plus h u and y is equal to b plus k v are the unit of measurement so see this look like a regression a regression outcome or you can say the regression equation <coughs> okay let we are going to find the correlation uh, coefficient uh, between x and y we <coughs> and as well as uh, correlation coefficient of of u and v in the, uh, for this correlation coefficient between u and v can be written as okay uh, substituting these values in correlation formula rxy rxy formula is is equal to this and here we have x value this is our x value and this is our y value but we don't have x bar and y bar value so first we have to find the x bar value so, so here we have x bar value is equal to a plus b uh, a plus h u bar and for y bar y bar is equal to b plus k v bar okay let put these values these two and these two into this formula and we get this equation and after the solution of this equation we get this formula so this reveals that either you are using a new variable in the presence of your old variable you are using new variables the, correl the correlation coefficient uh, always uh, gives the, the same results and uh, uh, it is normally known as origin uh, a correlation coefficient is independent of origin and scale at the same time okay <coughs> sorry the fourth property of the correlation in case of bivariate population where x and y are random variable r is the geometric mean between the two regression coefficient okay that we have a, a regression a beta regression coefficient here we have a dependent variable y and x is an independent variable so we can read it b y x is the regression coefficient of the regression line of y on x and we have uh, another uh, regression coefficient b x y here we have a dependent variable x and independent variable y so these are two different <coughs> regression coefficients and <coughs> and for um, these uh, uh, two uh, different regression coefficient we have to calculate the correlation coefficients then we get the correlation coefficient r is equal to because uh, these uh, two are different so that's why if we if we multiply these two then we get r square and if you get if you take the square root of this then uh, our <coughs> correlation formula become as uh, r is equal to minus plus uh, the both uh, uh, regression coefficient under root okay here keep it in mind that the sign of the regression coefficient depends <coughs> upon the same expression which summation x bar or <coughs> minus summation x bar okay keep it in mind then if the regression coefficient is on minus then uh, don't consider it that minus minus uh, plus so the uh, correlation coefficient uh, answer must be negative and if both are positive then answer must be positive so see so 
uh, keep it in mind that uh, the sign must if both are positive then positive and both are negative then correlation answer must be negative so therefore we have uh, here we have both positive then correlation answer must be positive and if we have a both negative then negative can be uh, taken as a common so uh, so the answer must be negative so the value of r always take the same sign as the regression coefficient keep it in mind that that r always same take the same sign as the estimated regression coefficient both the regression coefficient have okay <clears throat> the regression coefficient and the regression line for the bivariate population by using the definition of correlation coefficient may be expressed as so see here we have uh, co uh, regression coefficient b y x is equal to r s y divided by s y s x and we have a dependent variable here uh, 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 x is dependent variable and y independent variable is equal to r s x divided by r divided by r uh, s y Okay, for the further expression, see here we have min y minus y bar is equal to r s y divided by s y into s uh, x minus x bar, and for the x minus x bar we have r s x divided by s y into y minus y bar. So this uh, represent in case of bivariate population where x and y both are random variable r is the geometric mean here we see that r is the geometric mean between the two regression <coughs> coefficient here we have an empirical example for the third and fourth property uh, so see if uh, the correlation coefficient uh, of y and x with the with the help of this data we have a x variable and we have a y variable now we have uh, uh, u is equal to x minus uh, 69 and v is equal to y minus 1 1 2 okay then we have to find the regression coefficient r x y, x y is equal to r u b then the regression for, uh, then the correlation formula become as now we uh, with the help of this formula we can find uh, in the correlation coefficient so here we have to make the necessity calculations so start we have x and we have our y variable y series and now we find u now u is equal to x minus 69 so see 69 will be subtracted from each observation of x so we get u and here we have y minus 112 so this means that every observation of y will be subtracted that 1 1 12 uh, 1 1 2 is subtracted from each observation of y and we get v so this is v and now we have to make the necessity calculation here so this is summation u and this is the summation v now we have to calculate summation u v and u square and v square because other uh, calculation when can be made here so we have u square we have v square and now only u summation u v is remaining that we have to calculate uh, u v as a summation now we put these necessity calculation into the correlation formula and we get this and after the solution of this we get the correlation uh, answer is equal to 0 0.96 so what is the interpretation of this uh, <coughs> estimated correlation coefficient so 0 0.96 explain that 96 percent variation in in y is accounted by x or you can say that 90 percent 96 percent variation in x is accounted by y this is a very strong uh, degree of association or degree of relationship between x and y and moreover this is a positive relationship relationship between x and positive correlation between the uh, x and y now we uh, gone through the uh, uh, another empirical example for the our fourth property that uh, if we have uh, regression coefficient bij um, uh, where x i and, uh, and x j 
uh, are two uh, variable and then the then we have to calculate the product movement uh, coefficient of correlation in each case that we have <coughs> uh, beta 1 2 is, is equal to this and beta 2 1 is equal to this and beta uh, 1 3 is equal to this and beta 3 2 3 1 is equal to this and 2 3 beta 2 3 is equal to this and beta 3 2 is equal to this now we have to calculate uh, uh, our correlation for in three cases the first case the product movement uh, coefficient of correlation uh, x i and x j is given as as we have uh, r i j is equal to b i j multiplied by uh, b i j so keep it in mind that we have to take this uh, under root of this multiply uh, multiply and then take the under root of this so we get the correlation for this uh, particular point that r 1 2 is equal to we multiply by these equation or these numbers and we get minus 0 0.20 so see here uh, we have the same sign which uh, the uh, regression coefficients have so there is a negative correlation between x i and xj and moreover uh, this uh, uh, it there is a 0 0.2 outcome so this reveals that there is a weak uh, correlation existed between xi and xj moreover there uh, this is a negative uh, correlation <coughs> now we move toward the second part of uh, the, the question requirement here both coefficients are positive so r must be uh, correlation must be positive so we put these uh, two values into the formula and we get plus 0 0.40 so this means that there is a uh, moderate uh, correlation uh, you can say that uh, technically uh, less than 0 0.5 we, we normally uh, interpret it a weak correlation so uh, the uh, these two uh, regression coefficients are positive values so that's why it has a positive value as well so for the last one uh, here we have uh, uh, correlation formula and we put these values into the this formula and we get uh, uh, 0 0.5 so uh, this reveals that uh, 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 the fourth one uh, property that uh, the correlation coffee uh, in case of bivariate population where x and y are random variable x is the geometric mean um, between the two regression coefficient and give the same uh, uh, same sign which the uh, which the regression coefficients have keep in mind the same sign so uh, uh, this is a weak correlation this is a weak correlation and this is technically called the moderate correlation so this is a all about uh, the properties four properties of the correlation coefficient and see you with another video ciao